Hey, I don't know if you know this, but if you leave a like on this video right now and subscribe to my YouTube channel and the upcoming mini box Chronicle of Glory, you'll pull a prismatic if you like and subscribe. So what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. What's up everybody? Watt007 here and welcome back to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Today it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. We're going to be taking a look at the next mini box for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links called Chronicle of Glory. And I got to say, I really like the cover art card of this new box. And this is getting me a little bit hyped because of the fact that we're now getting tuned Synchro monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and it looks like we're gonna get some new ritual monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Now, it's not that much of a surprise that we're finally getting some Tuner Synchro monsters for Excel Synchro Summoning because of the fact that we are gonna be getting Antony, aka Bruno, later in the month. We're getting an event related to him, so it's about time that we're actually gonna get some Tuner Synchro monsters, which is really cool. But what's weird is, is the mini box that we have right here is actually gonna be dropping on July 13th on a Monday for me personally, and it's interesting that that's dropping right away yet the Bruno event is not happening till later this month so weird timing I feel like they should have dropped the mini box at the same time as you know the Bruno event but it is what it is still cool that we're finally getting a new mini box in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and I'm looking forward to taking a look at the UR and SR cards in this box so without further ado let's just go hop into it also just a heads up for everybody new to the YouTube channel that has not watched my content before uh, don't be surprised if I mispronounce a lot of words in today's video because I don't know how how to read i'm still kindergartner my bad boys but let's go get into today's review on the ur and sr cards so the first ur card we're going to take a look at is this card called stardust chronicle spark dragon and i gotta say i love the artwork of this card it makes sense that this is the cover art card for the box because this thing looks awesome this card right here is a light 10 star dragon synchro effect monster it takes one tuner synchro monster plus one or more non-tuner synchro monsters must be synchro summoned cannot be special summoned by other ways once per turn during either player's turn you can banish one synchro monster from a graveyard this card is unaffected by other card effects for the rest of the turn if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by opponent's card by battle or card effect you can target one of your banished dragon type secret monsters and special summon it now i gotta say that this card is not too shabby so once per turn their e player's turn you can banish the synchro monster and what's going to be nice about that effect is that it makes this card unaffected by other card effects for the rest of the turn and then if this card does get destroyed by opponent's card by battle or card effect you can just target one of your banished dragon type secret monsters and special summon it so by the off chance that you know you don't have any more synchro monsters in the graveyard and your opponent destroys stardust chronicle spark dragon you can just i don't know bring back your stardust dragon or something like that that you utilize to synchro into spark dragon and then just bring it back onto the field now i gotta say this card is pretty lackluster for the fact that you need a tuner synchro monster and a non-tuner synchro monster but maybe this is just the tip of the iceberg for the Excel Synchro Summoning. So I won't give Konami too much slack on this card, but I feel like that there probably could have been some more like I don't know, I feel like they probably could have chose a better Excel Synchro Monster to kind of introduce the stuff, because I feel like Excel Synchro Summoning is going to be one of those things that's going to be cool to do in Duel Links, but I don't think it's going to be competitively viable um, from this card alone. But still, we have to take a look at the other UR and SR um, cards from this box, uh, specifically to kind of see what's popping, and maybe we'll get some other really cool Excel Synchro Monsters. But I gotta say, love the artwork of the card. The card effect isn't, you know, the worst thing in the world, but I still feel like that there should be a little bit more um, to the whole archetype for this guy because yeah all it is is just a 3,000 attack monster a 2,500 defense monster that you have to summon two synchro monsters to synchro summon into that's a lot of resources for a car that you're not getting too much back for but still it's a really cool card and I look forward to getting it because I just really like the artwork it's nice artwork that's for sure the next UR card we're gonna take a look at is coral dragon this is a six star water dragon synchro tuner effect monster it takes one tuner plus one or more non tuner monsters once per turn you can discard one card then target one card your opponent controls destroy it if the synchro summon card is sent from the field to the graveyard you can draw one card you only can use the effect of coral dragon once per turn this card is 24 in attack and 500 defense now this card right here is extremely good and this is one of the popular uh, synchro tuner monsters in the TCG if I remember correctly because this card gives you a lot of benefits so first of all the fact that you can discard a card to target a card your opponent controls and destroy it is not too bad of an effect for this six star um, synchro monster so that's good enough on its own and then on top of that since it is a tuner you can go into some certain synchro summons if you need to like going for some excel synchro summons if you have some low star monsters in your deck you can go for like some seven star or eight star synchro summons maybe some nine star synchro summons if you got a three star um you know monster to combo with coral dragon and then on top of that when this card is sent to the graveyard you can draw one card so if you synchro summon with this card you get the draw card if it gets destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard you get the draw card a lot of benefits from coral dragon maybe we're going to be in a situation where 
like the synchro tuners are like extremely good from this box but like the excel synchro monsters are not going to be like anything crazy which has happened before in the past um in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and whatnot so there's that right there but Coral Dragon extremely good UR card this has a lot of versatility and this is going to be definitely one of the UR cards to go for from this mini box and then next up for the last UR card from this mini box we're going to take a look at Megalodif Blur probably mispronounced this card but I gotta say this artwork is actually really cool I kind of want to try out this ritual archetype from the artwork alone uh, but let's go see if the card is good enough or, or if it's good enough on its own but yeah I've never seen this archetype before so this is the first time reading it anyways though this is an eight star earth rock ritual effect monster you can ritual summon this card with a megalith card you can discard this card ritual summon one megalith monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand or field whose total levels equal or exceed its level if this card is ritual summon you can target cards opponent controls up to the number of ritual monsters with different names in your graveyard destroy them you only can use each effect of this card once per turn this card is 1500 attack and 2600 defense so i what i don't like about this card is how low its attack is but its effect is actually pretty solid you can utilize this card itself to go into the ritual summons of the other megalith monsters and hopefully the other ones that's in this set is going to be pretty good because like i said i like the artwork of this card i want to try the deck but depending on how this deck plays maybe it could be good maybe it could not be good but still the fact that you can ritual summon cards with this card alone is good and then on top of that if this card does get ritual summon you can target cards and put a controls up to the number of ritual monsters and different names in your graveyard and destroy them that's gonna be nice so you can pop a lot of cards in the field and maybe how this deck works is that you just ritual summon ritual summon ritual summon um a lot and then you utilize the megalithus effects to get a lot of uh, board advantage if you have ritual monsters in your graveyard and i'm gonna guess the other megalithus monsters might have some effects but we'll have to go take a look at those guys because some of them are sr cards so we'll definitely have to take a look at them but yeah cool artwork of this card don't know how i feel about it yet because i don't know this archetype because it's new to me personally but yeah let's just go take a look at the sr cards now next up we're going to take a look at the first sr card in this mini box called dragoonity knight loon this is a six star wind dragon synchro tuner effect monster it takes one dragoonity tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters if this card is special somebody you can target one dragoonity monster in your graveyard equip it to this card if this card is sent to the graveyard you can target a dragoonity monster you control equip this target card to that target it gains a thousand attack and defense you only can use each effect dragoonity knight loon once per turn this card has 1200 attack and 1900 defense so one thing that is interesting to me about this card is the fact that Dragoonity is actually a tuner sinker monster. I didn't know that personally, so that's actually really cool. So Dragoonity Knights might be a good way to start synchro summoning into um, cards like Stardust Chronicle Spark Dragon. That's probably going to be the easiest way to synchro summon into that Excel Sinker monster is with a Dragoonity Knight Loon and then another six star a Dragoonity Knight monster. So that's definitely something to think about. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, this card is okay. I don't know how good this card is because I'm still kind of unfamiliar with um, Dragoonity Knights. I haven't played the deck in a while, so I just gotta say it's a cool tuner um, Synchro Monster. It's definitely gonna be a good one to go for the Synchro Summons, but I don't know the full capabilities of this card yet, but I was actually checking on my Discord uh, before I started recording this video, and a lot of people are discussing on why the, uh, what was it, the Dragoonity uh, Spell Card Divine Lance, I believe that's what it's called, I'll edit it in post-editing if I remember, on the screen. And this card specifically got semi-limited recently in the ban list, and that's probably because we're getting some new community support right here in this new main mini box. So that would make a lot of sense for some people. But yeah, really cool. The Dragoonities has a tuner synchro monster, and I'm looking forward to see what crazy combos that we'll be getting with Dragoonities. The next SR card we're going to take a look at is this card called Geomath Mech Magna, which is an 8-star fire cyber synchro tuner effect monster. So that's interesting that Cybers actually has a synchro tuner monster. That's actually really cool. And it's also cool that we're finally getting some more Cybers cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So this card right here takes one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters. When this card destroys a monster by battle, you can target up to two cards your opponent controls to destroy them. If this card is destroyed by battle or if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by a card effect you can add one math mech spell trap card from your deck to your hand you only can use each effect of geo math mech magna once per turn this card has 2500 attack and zero defense so yeah this card is not too shabby it's an eight star synchro monster that's generic so um you can synchro summon this card easily if you do destroy an opponent's monster by battle you can target two cards your opponent controls and destroy them so that's a lot of cards that you can get rid of it also has the effect where if this card is destroyed by opponent's card effect 
effect, you can add a Mathmex spell and trap card uh, to your deck to your hand, so that's also cool. And I'm gonna guess that this box probably has some Mathmex cards. Yeah, there's a few Mathmex cards here and there, so that's cool. Um, definitely a okay monster, I gotta say. I don't think this monster is crazy by any means, but at the end of the day, it is an eight star synchro tier monster, so you gotta take that into consideration depending on if there is any other um, Excel synchro monsters in this box besides a Chronicle Spark Dragon. And then also, if we do get some more, um, you know, Excel synchro monsters later in the months in Yu Gi Oh! Duel, this is another card you can consider to go for some spicy Excel synchro summoning. So that's pretty cool right there. But other than that, this card is okay. Love the artwork though. Gotta say, what, what I've noticed about this box is like there's a lot of like neat cards that have really good artworks but I don't know if they're like any good by any means but I love the artworks of this box so I'm gonna go invest into it that's for sure but yeah cool card the next SR card we're gonna take a look at is Megalithic Opel which is a four star earth rock ritual effect monster you can ritual summon this card with the Megalith card if this card is ritual summon you can add a Megalith monster from your deck to your hand except Megalith Opel during your main phase you can activate this effect ritual summon one ritual monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand or field including this card on your field whose total levels exceed the level of the ritual monster. You only can use this effect of Megalith Opel once per turn. This card has 1600 attack and 2500 defense. Now this card is actually pretty cool. So the fact that it's a four star ritual monster means that you can use Senju and Sonic Bird to utilize those two cards as a target to ritual summon into this card. So yeah, you normal summon Sonic Bird, search for the ritual spell, activate the ritual spell to summon Megalith Opel and sacrifice Sonic Bird to go for that combo. So that's good. And on top of that, when this card gets onto the field, you get to search for the Megalith monster that you potentially want a ritual summon into. And thanks to that, you can utilize this card's effect to where you you can ritual summon that ritual monster by utilizing this card as a target and utilizing some of your other cards in your hand or field to ritual summon to the bigger Megalith monsters, which is really cool in my opinion. So I gotta say this actually is a really good SR card, probably gonna be one of the combo cards for this deck specifically, and not too shabby of a card whatsoever. And then the next SR card we're going to take a look at is Megalith Haglith. This card is a 4-star Earth Rock Ritual Effect monster. You can Ritual Summon this card with a Megalith card. If this card is Ritual Summon, you can add one Megalith Spell and Trap card from your deck to your hand. During your main phase, you can activate the effect Ritual Summon one Ritual Monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand or field, including this card on your field, whose levels equal or exceed the level of the Ritual Monster. You only can use this effect of Megalith Haglith once per turn. This card has 1300 attack and 2600 defense. Again, same boat. As a previous card, you get to utilize the Sonic Birds and Senjus for um, targets for this card specifically, and then you can activate its effect to then go into the bigger Megalith monsters, which is really cool in my opinion. So far, I'm liking how this archetype is. I think the only thing that this archetype is lacking is that it just needs some more firepower with its attack, but it is a cool ritual deck because you get to utilize the ritual monsters to then ritual summon into even more monsters, and then you want to get into the boss boy over here, Blador, where when you have a bunch of those uh, four star ritual monsters in your graveyard you can activate this guy's ability pop a bunch of cards on the field and then start getting some advantage that's for sure so i gotta say i do like this card this card does seem very interesting and i want to try this archetype out hopefully it's a good archetype but there is a chance that's not going to be like that good but we'll see what happens that's for sure but i gotta say this archetype does seem kind of cool next up we're going to be taking a look at this sr card called math mech edition this is a four star fire cybers effect monster you can target one face a monster on the field you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except cybers type monsters. Also special summon this card from your hand, but it cannot attack this turn. And if you do, the targeted monster gains a thousand attack until the end of the turn. You only can use this effect of Math Mech Edition once per turn. This card has a thousand attack and a thousand defense. So this card's pretty good because of the fact that you get the special summon it from your hand, and this card's gonna help out for getting into the synchro summon of the Geo Math Mech Magna, which is pretty cool. It's a four-star monster, and if Math Mechs have a four-star tuner monster in this box specifically, you can summon that four star tuner monster and then just special summon math mech edition and then go into the synchro summon of the geo math mech magna that's a pretty cool combo right there and this card's not too shabby for math mech specifically so the next sr card we're going to take a look at is gene raider boss of fire i hope i pronounced that card's name right because this card's name is a little ridiculous in my opinion but nonetheless let's go take a look at this card this is a fire 11 star beast warrior effect monster you can only control one boss of fire if a cards you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy a Gene Raider monster or one Beast Warrior type monster you control instead. You only can use this effect of Gene, Ra Gene Raider, god I cannot pronounce this card's name, Boss of Fire once per turn. This card has 3100 attack, 200 defense. Now this card's actually kind of cool because of the fact that if 
if one of your cards does get destroyed or is about to get destroyed, you can sacrifice this card or a Beast Warrior type monster card in your field to stop it from happening. So that's really cool right here. The only thing I don't like about this card is that it is going to be a little difficult to summon into, but at the same time, now thinking about it, Hazy's could easily play this card because since it's a Beast Warrior fire monster, you can go utilize it with Hazy Flames and Hazy Flames. Sphinx can special summon this card. So this card's actually good for protecting your Hazy Flames and keeping you around for a bit. So definitely something to consider right here dan got a brand new hazy support card right here that's for sure yeah other than hazy flames i don't see this card working in any other deck but still super cool card protect your cards by sacking off beast warrior type monsters or this card itself protect yourself not too shabby whatsoever not a bad card and 3100 attacks pretty good too so very cool next sr card we're gonna take a look at is flame fell fire dog this is a four star fire beast effect monster when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard you can start someone one fire monster with 200 or less defense from your deck except flame fell fire dog so cool card right here definitely gonna have to take a look at some of the other um fire monsters in duel links to see what you can combo with also at the same time you got to keep in mind is that the card that we just talked about uh boss of fire can actually get special summon three flame flail fire dogs so that's another way to special summon into this guy right here but still i'd probably recommend just playing playing a hazy flame deck to summon into this guy but still cool to know that flame fell fire dog a 1900 attack beat stick can get you a free uh boss of fire so not too shabby whatsoever gonna be a cute little deck that you can try out that's for sure next sr card could take a look at is megalodive portal which is a field spell card first time each ritual summon monster would be destroyed by battle each turn it is not destroyed if a megalodive monster is special summoned except during the damage step you can check out a ritual monster in your graveyard add it to your hand you can use the effect of this card once per turn so this is going to really help you get the cycling going with the megalodive cards because you can ritual summon it to your guy then you can trigger portals effect and then add back one of those ritual targets back to your hands and then go for some more ritual summoning and then you just get these continuous ritual summonings happening with this whole deck so definitely a good field spell for the archetype i like it next sr card we're going to take a look at is battle waltz this is a spell card that states target one synchro monster you control special summon one waltz token with the current type attribute level attack and defense of that monster Neo player takes any battle damage attacks evolving this token this is actually a pretty cool card right here for a couple reasons so you get another synchro beat stick on the field so if you get a big synchro monster activate battle waltz you get another synchro monster that you can use to attack with your opponent and so and even if they don't take any battle damage from that a um, monster you still get to attack with it and then you can just attack with your big ritual or your big synchro monster that you summon with battle Walt, and then destroy your opponent's monster and then attack your opponent with your other synchro monster that isn't a copy from battle Walt, and then deal a bunch of damage to your opponent it's not too shabby whatsoever and potentially you can utilize this card right here to go for some potential synchro summon plays i don't know if it would work as a synchro effect monster i think it would because it does say that it copies it pretty much so there's that right there so not too shabby of a card right here not too shabby and then the last sr card i'm gonna take a look at in today's video is math mech induction this is a continuous trap card that states all cybers type monsters you control gain 500 attack if you control a math mech monster you can send this face up card from the field to the graveyard then target one card your opponent controls destroy it you, know, you can use each effect of math mech induction once per turn so this card's all right give your cyber sponsors a boost of 500 attack which is not too bad and then if you have a math mech monster on your side of the field you can send this this face of cards at the graveyard to then target a card opponent controls and destroy it so it's going to give you a little bit of versatility here and there so not too shabby of a card but still nothing too crazy in my opinion but it's all right now that's going to be it for the ur and sr cards from this box but before we end the video i just want to give a couple mentions to some cards that piqued my interest here's some other tuner synchro monsters that are in this box we have this uh purple pyro tile card a cool little reptile card like the artwork of this boy and this is a two-star synchro tuner so that's something to consider when going for some excel synchro summoning we also have this guy right here called photon pulse dragon a really good tuner synchro monster when it's synchro somebody can declare a level from one to three this card becomes that level also you cannot special summon for us to turn except a synchro uh summon using this card as a synchro material so if you're specifically going for it in excel synchro summon you can use this guy switch its level to whatever you need to go for and go from there so a really cool tuner uh synchro tuner right there so that's cool we also have some more megalodif cards right here we have this one right here and we have this one right here Ooh, finally we have a good beat stick right here i was really worried with this megalodif uh, deck because all these megalodif monsters have low attack but looks like you could probably use this one right here to go for some good attacks so that's going to be cool to see 
Still, I'm not too sure how I feel about this Ritual Archetype just for the fact that it is lacking in firepower, but it is good to know that we do at least have a 2500 beat stick right here. So definitely something to consider about. This deck is potentially going to be good or really bad. I don't know yet, but I definitely want to try it out when this uh, box comes into you via Dunlux. Also, what I'm really happy about, this is easily the best card from the set. We finally have UFO Turtle and Yu-Gi-Oh! Dunlux. I don't know what it is about UFO Turtle, but this card is just such a meme card. It's like an unintentional meme card because all it is, it's just a giant rat for fire monsters. But like, bro, it's the boy, UFO Turtle. You gotta love him. So I'm hoping to pull uh, three glossy copies of UFO Turtle because it's just the chat right here. That's for sure. And we also have some meme cards right here. We got the broken card of all time, Prevent Rat. Love it right there. Oh, we have Bitron now in Duel Links. That's cool. I like that. That's very cool. And we also have this card called Leotron. That's also really cool. Four star Cybers. Normal monster with 2000 attack. Not too shabby whatsoever. And then we also have some like other like uh, Dragoonity cards. None of these other Dragoonity cards really pique my interest. The only good one that we have in this box is just going to be the um, brand new uh, SR card. Because this card is a Synchro Tuner monster. It's a combo extender and it gives your Dragoonities a thousand attack and defense. So that's really good right there so that's kind of like my thoughts on this box now overall impressions when it comes to this box i don't know how i feel about this like i don't think that this box is that good whatsoever but it potentially could be good depending on some of these few cards because what with this box the cards that are going to be really good from this set are probably going to be the ones that support current decks in the game like your are probably going to be pretty spicy curl dragon might get teched in some cool synchro decks so we'll definitely have to see what's going to be happening for you get do like that is for sure but a lot of interesting stuff to take a look at that's for sure but that's going to be it for my thoughts and opinions on this brand new mini box be sure to go stop by into my live stream on the 13th when i do open up some packs from this new box uh hopefully the stream will be able to get started right away when the box comes out because i do actually have a day off from work when the box comes out so that's awesome so be sure to stay tuned to my youtube channel if you don't want to miss out on that live stream seriously subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification so you guys can notify whenever i make a new video or live stream and hopefully i'll see most of you guys there when i do my pack opening but nonetheless though that's gonna be it for me thank you guys so much for watching today's box review video and i'll go see you guys in the next one adios everybody